Well, today what we're going to do is obviously uh, we have the reproduction antlers here. We've got to stain them up. And then there, I have a certain way I like to set these antlers on top before we mount it up because when we put the skin on, the antlers are not going to be on there. They're going to do that after we put the skin on and get the rabbit all, all shaped up. But uh, I'm going to use my normal staining techniques that I use on all my reproductions with these antlers, and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, first of all, I have to clean these off. We always start off cleaning our reproductions with lacquer thinner just to get anything off, any oils or anything off there that might, or release agents that might be on there during the process. And this, of course, these are miniaturized, so it only takes a couple of seconds. We'll set that right there. Okay. Then all I'm doing today, we're just going to use one color. This is the burnt umber. And I'll squirt a little bit on my palette there. And all I'm really going to do, when, I, any, when I'm doing any of my reproductions, trying to stain them up, you're trying to get the surface of the material, your tint, to stick to the surface. So these antlers obviously aren't porous. It's a rigid, hard plastic. So I'm trying to get this, this uh, tube oil paints to stick to the surface. And I found the best way to do that is by putting thin washes of two boil paints with lacquer thinner, and then we're going to come back with a uh, super fish sealer, which is nothing more than a matte finish, and it seals up our color. So what I do is I'll dip the brush, and I just barely touch the tint. I will wipe this on, and the more tint, obviously the more paint you touch to the, to the brush, and the less lacquer thinner, then obviously the deeper color that you're going to have. Now I always start off with one light wash, just like this. And I'm not concerned with drips or runs or anything like that. I just want to get the first coat on. That. Let me get the bases a little bit there. I'm going to set that right down there. I'm going to grab the other one. Now the nice thing about working with lacquer thinner when you're staining antlers is that it evaporates relatively quickly and leaves your stain or leaves your pigment on your surface. So you're not waiting a long time for it to dry before you can either put your next coat on or finish up your project. Again, I'm just trying to put the first color on not concerned about drips. I'm not concerned about any runs at all. I just want to make sure I have the complete set covered with with, uh, with the pigment. I make sure I brush this in all the cracks and crevices of the antlers. Okay, we've already put one coat of our stain on the antlers. We're going to come back with a little bit heavier coat. So again, using our brush, we're going to dip it in the lacquer thinner. This time we're going to use a little bit more pigment. And put a little heavier coat on. All we do is drag a little of the pigment into the middle of our tray here. And we're not concerned, again, we're not concerned about the drips or any runs right now because we'll be coming back and wiping, wiping them off. I'm just going to wipe off any of my, my drips I might have. And of course, you can make these as detailed as you want to. And when I wipe off the excess stain, what it does, it brings out the highlights that you'd have naturally in a set of horns. You can see the detail, you can see the, the highlights that show. And of course, if you make a mistake and you want to change something, you can go back straight to the lacquer thinner and take it all off back to the plastic. I'm going to come back with the steel wool and buff these tips just a little bit. Give us a little bit of a rub look. You know, if this trophy jack was making some scrapes or some marks, 
you might have a little bit of a rub look to them. Okay, now, just as we did in the other videos, we're gonna seal these up. This is super fish sealer, which is a lacquer matte finish. And what this is gonna do, this is gonna seal up the color and keep it from scratching off. All right, next we're gonna set the eyes. And then what I'm gonna do is come back and just put a slight little ring of clay around the eye. That's gonna give me a little adjustment and help hold the eyelids in a little bit. So I'm gonna turn that at me. I've got a little bit of water here. I'm just gonna roll a little small, very small worm of clay. It's not like a deer mount where you have a big brow at all. This is just a small ring of clay. I'm just gonna blend it to the mannequin. Okay, what I wanna do now is I'm gonna come back with a wire. I'm gonna just temporarily pin these ears in so what I'm going to do is, this is bird neck material. This is the same thing you use on quail or any other bird that you might mount up. And I'm just going to cut a little piece off. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to cut two pieces off, maybe an inch and a half along. And I'm going to insert a piece of 16 gauge wire. And this is going to be inserted into the cartilage area, to the earbud area of the, of the jackalope. And then we're going to force the wire down inside the pre-sculpted earbud area. And that's going to allow us a little bit of flexibility until this, until this dries. It'll also keep the skin in position while we go ahead and tuck the eyes and uh, the nose. And now what I want to do is I'm just going to take my hands and I'm going to manipulate the, the, uh, the clay that we put underneath the uh, skin when we put the ear butt uh, uh, ring of clay on. So I've got a little bit of clay here. I want to try to, to uh, feather edge it to the, uh, to the form where there's a partial ear butt sculpted on it. So I think what I'm going to do on this trophy rabbit, because he's got such an impressive uh, rack, we're going to have his ears slightly back and that'll accentuate the uh, simulated 30 inch spread that we have on this trophy rabbit. So right now all I'm doing is I'm manipulating the clay and I'm just making the clay transition to the preformed ear butt that's on the mannequin. All right next and the final step in uh, putting this rabbit together is we're going to install the trophy antlers. Now, if you recall, we pre-fitted them with our Bondo plugs. So theoretically, we're gonna, <laughs> it should work out when we make an incision right above the holes. We'll be able to squirt in some hot glue, hold our antlers in place, and we'll see what she looks like. So I'm gonna take my scalpel, and all I'm gonna do is just make an incision right into the hole. So what we wanna do is shoot hot glue in each hole, We'll set the antlers in, and we're going to hold them in shape, hold them in place, until the hot glue sets up. So Mark, all right, is it going in? Oh, yes, sir. Perfect. Now let me get the other hole. Now we're going to level up our trophy jack, and we're going to hold them in position over the holes, and we're going to work them back down inside just like that. I'm going to hold these until the hot glue cures and I may come back and adjust my ears a little bit to, re to, uh, to the antlers to make sure that, that one's not touching the antlers or they're not out of position.